Hey, what is up, heroes, and welcome back to another Pokemon Go episode. In today's episode, we'll be taking on two gyms that were previously mine, that were taken from me, and today's episode, we will be taking them back. Damn, red team taking my uh, my gyms, that is not cool. But the first gym is a uh, is defended by Eradicate with 215 CP. No match for my Pidgeot with CP 441. Gonna absolutely destroy this uh, Eradicate. I'm getting pretty good at dodging. What you gotta do is keep swiping left or right, and avoid a lot of attacks and that Redicate is already down. Got to fight the gym again though because it has uh, just over 2,000 rep and we're just going to go again with the Pidgeot and easily easily take out this uh, this Radicate. The cool thing is after I take this gym some guy uh, part of Team Instinct as well also leaves his uh, Fero with me help me defend this gym. This gym right here is like my number one gym. It's a gym I always always want to have. The, uh, the Kingston Clock and bam Gonna leave my, uh, I think I leave my Radicate here. So my Radicate's 315. I thought that would be uh, good enough to defend that gym because there's another gym I want to take on, which is a little more tough, and I'm gonna need my Pidgeot. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk down to the uh, the next gym, which is a uh, little restaurant. You know, I don't really care for this gym too much. It's just that it's quite close to this gym, and I can't let uh, the red team have a gym that's that close to my my gym. So we're gonna just. Hop on over to uh, the restaurant just down there. So while we make our way to the next gym, I just want to thank you guys for your support on these videos. It's been absolutely insane. You guys are loving these videos, which is great because it makes me want to go out and record more. And I'm going to give you guys one little tip that will help you guys out a lot. It's not really a great tip, but I haven't been doing it and it's just been costing me a lot of money. And that is when I walk about, sometimes I get connected to like the free Wi-Fi, which sucks. And I can't like load up Pokemon Go anymore, so I turn my Wi-Fi off. Make sure you turn your Wi-Fi back on when you get home because I forgot and I was watching YouTube videos, playing Pokemon Go and I used up all my data and had to buy some more and that was not very good. But this gym right here, this gym is defended by four people. So first we've got to fight this Pidgey level 82 and my Pidgey are obviously just going to destroy that Pidgey in three hits. Victory already is great. And next we have a Venonat which we are super effective against so three hits, that thing is dead. Using a lot, of bit, uh, a lot of HP right here, and we've got Pidgeotto. Gotta take this bad boy out. This Pidgeotto is actually pretty tough. Gotta dodge a few attacks here, can't let it hit me. Got my uh, special, which I actually use right here just to finish it off, so I thought that Pidgeotto might do a bit more damage. And next, we have the Pidgeot, level 260. No as near as uh, good as mine, but you can see it's kind of like trying to load here, which is uh, really annoying. And that loading screen just basically ruins. Ruins my whole day. So here I am trying to take this video. I know I'm going to die, but I did as much damage as I can. Bring up my B drill, and bam, I get the one HP glitch. You know what that is? Basically, when you take on a gym, sometimes the Pokemon will live with one HP, like this Pidgeot, and you can't kill it, and it will proceed to kill your whole team. So I'm like, please just work, 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 so I've got to give up. And it's still attacking me, and there you go, I lost quite a bit of HP. And this is a really really big problem. I know the game's like just launched and has server issues and stuff, but if that happens to you, make sure you run away as fast as possible. Sometimes you can't run away, so you have to close your app. So do that ASAP because you have to waste your revives, your potions, reviving your whole team, and you don't want that because revives and potions can cost money. Because if you don't have any, you got to buy some, and it's all just one of those poker stops. And it's really, really annoying. And this happened to me a couple of times at this gym. I think it happened again uh, here. But I'm going to try to take out this Pidgey, which is, again, super easy. Now, this gym right here is defended by four people. And my Pidgeot is just going off, taking everyone out. This Pidgeot is an absolute monster. So take out the Venonet as well. Oh, there you go. Got the uh, the glitch game on the Venonet. I'm just like, oh, really? Come on. Maybe it will be done loading. But it, it can't. Here you go. I can't run away. Literally, I press give up. can't give up keeps killing me so I literally just closed the app so I thought right here I'll, I'll wait a little bit go to this Pokestop and you guys told me how to use the lure module that little white bit above the circle you click that and then you can actually uh, use your lure module and I was like I wonder if there's any better than a uh, an incense so I pop this and straight away after when I use it I find like two Pokemon which is great like a, a Rattata and a Spear I think after I, I capture this uh, Rattata you, I find a Spear which is great now, I was trying to think what's better, an incense or a Pokestop. 
And honestly, I'm starting to think incense is a little bit better. Like, Pokestops are great because if I use one and you guys are near, you can also benefit from it. But I used it and I thought, I, I'm, I just want to walk about. I don't want to sit at this Pokestop because it was like no benches or anything. I was sitting on the floor. And an incense, you know, have, you have the uh, opportunity just to like walk around. It's just like, I, I don't know. They're both good. They're both useful in their different ways. But I think I am more team incense like I like using them a lot more and I, I the amount of Pokemon you get between a lure module and a incense it, it, it's practically the same you know you'll get maybe one or two more maybe one or two less it's pretty good but right here I thought it's time to take on the gym again left that Pidgey at the Pokestop didn't care I was like I need to take this gym these guys have had it for too long too damn long so we're gonna try again take on this Pidgey if we like, if we um, beat this guy, we gotta beat this gym like three or four times. Gotta get rid of the Venonat guy, gotta get rid of the Pidgeotto guy, and then the Pidgeot guy. So there's a lot to do, but this, my Pidgeot right here, is an absolute monster. Just takes out everyone. I feel like I'm a level 100 Pidgeot going for the Elite Four, just sweeping the, uh, the whole Elite Four. That's how I feel right now, it's, it's, it's a really good feeling. But luckily, because, um, in the UK, like the game's not officially out yet, and the servers are up and down. Not everyone has got like a super powerful team, and I've been making the most out of the uh, servers being up. So I've seen some teams on like um, Twitter and stuff where people have got like Flareons and like Gyarados is like 800 to a thousand. It's like Jesus, I am so glad I'm not in America right now because my team sucks compared to the US. But right now in the UK, I've got like one of the better teams, which is great. But we got to take on this gym again to go and make sure I uh, heal up. Got 30 potions. Which is good. It's got two lucky eggs to use as well. But damn, I'm just gonna quickly heal up my Pidgeot. Because my Pidgeot can sweep this uh, gym. And now we've just gotta deal with uh, three battles just to vend that Pidgeot and Pidgeot. And then we gotta do it again with the Pidgeot and Pidgeot. And I think one more time with the Pidgeot. But. Oh man, it, it's really annoying that there's not many Team Instincts um, around this area because it's always Team Mystic and Valor just like help, help them defend these gyms. So I always get kicked out, but. Luckily, girlfriend is Team Instinct. We can put some Pokemon together. And I know there's one person um, who put a Fero with my uh, Raticate, which I appreciate. You know, if you're Team Instinct, leave some Pokemon down. And I'll, if I see a gym, I'll definitely help out, do my part. Because as Team Instinct, we got to help defend our gyms. And they go, look, I'm destroying this Pidgeot. It's absolutely wrecking it. So while we're here, I just want to ask you guys, what do you, what do you want to see for um, the next Pokemon Go episode? Because I was thinking maybe go around, try and capture some uh, pretty awesome Pokemon. Maybe buff up some uh, gyms. Go around just uh, exploring, go some Pokestops. Because I plan to go to the um, the city today where there should be a lot of Pokestops. So maybe i get my camera, get some nice uh, real life shots as well. So let me know and uh, I can do that. But again, last battle, we've got to take on this Pidgeot which we will absolutely destroy. In a one-on-one -on -one battle, my Pidgeot just destroys it. Dodged out of air cutter, missed, and bam. And we win. And this gym is ours. I left my Pidgeot here because I thought, if my Pidgeot just destroyed this whole gym, four trainers, he deserves to uh, own this gym. I've got to heal him up first. I don't like the fact that you've got to like, heal up a Pokemon to put it in the gym. I think like if you put it in the gym, it should just be automatically healed up. But there we go. Going to drop off this uh, Pidgeot. Right, with that there, uh, last thing I want to show you guys is a lot of people have been asking to see my Pokemon. Because uh, I went around just capturing a lot. So here are all the Pokemon I've got. Um, well, on my person at the moment. We're going to open that in a second. But just going to thank you guys again for watching the video. Much appreciate that. So here we go. Got that Magikarp I caught recently, which is great. That EV255, so happy about that. Uh, uh, Drowsy is in a gym. Still surprised he's uh, holding that down. Raticate got knocked out, which is really annoying. I'll go back to the Kingston Clock and get that. That Squirtle, which I'll open up in a little bit. Oh, so happy with that Squirtle. There's my Pidgeot. Level uh, 441. So good, man. I'm actually quite happy with my team so far. There's a few Pokemon I want to get. There's that Spiro. I need three more candy. I can get a Fero. But I've been uh, maxing out as well. been powering it up. So I might evolve it before I... Actually, I might power it up all the way, then evolve it. So I think that'll um, make his CP a little bit higher. That Fero or Spiro, I, was, I caught it. I was like, oh my god, this CP is so high. This Squirtle, CP224. My starter Pokemon, I'm 100% going to max out their, uh, their little circle, semi-circle. Then evolve them first. 
Here's my Pidgeot. Needs a bit more uh, powering up, but I've got no more Stardust. I need to uh, get some more. There's my Beedrill, looking pretty powerful. Needs a bit high CP though. 258 is a little bit low for my liking. Here's my eggs. Almost hatched that um, uh, 10 kilometers one. Almost uh, just over halfway with a 5, and just below halfway with the fi other 5. But pretty happy with uh, my Pokemon Go progress so far. Today, gonna play a lot more. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time for another Pokemon Go episode. Have a great day. Peace.